Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. So in this video, we're going to discuss the solutions for problem A and B for code forces around 816, which was rated for division two. So this uh, particular problem states that the first problem says that we have been given an end to end grid and two players are playing on that grid. Now the first player has to move from the top left cell to the bottom right cell. And the second uh, player has to move from the bottom left cell to the top right cell, right? And uh, like uh, for example, there are two. Uh, there are two players. This is the player one, which has to move from this particular position, from the top left, the bottom right. Let me explain you like this. So we have this particular uh, player. It has to go from here to here, and this particular and the second player, the right one, has to go from here to here, right? Now in each move, they can like uh, they can move to an adjacent cell, right? And Oh, there is a special property about player 2 that wherever the player 2 goes, it leaves behind a portal, right? If you can see, this is a portal left behind by player 2. Now, what player 1 can do, uh, if, if uh, the player 1 is standing on a particular position in the portal, for example, if he the, the player is standing at this position, in one move, he can directly travel from here to here, the, to any place in the portal, right? So this costs one move and moving to the adjacent cell also costs one move. So you have to find the minimum number of moves in which both of the players can reach their final positions, right? So the most optimal answer uh, to do this, like we can do it by observation that uh, for the most optimal answer, uh, even in this case, you can see that uh, both the players have to travel at least this distance, right? player red has traveled from here, here, here and then the next steps here, here, right. So he still has, so if there are one, two, three, four, five cells, he has to travel four moves, right. Similarly for player blue, he also has to travel four moves, right. So like this is the minimum requirement that will be that distance, let it, let it be like X. So both the players will together travel 2 into x, right? And there is one more thing that one of those players will travel this distance, right? So if let this distance be y, so if the height of the grid is m, so y will be m minus 1. So the answer will always be 2x plus y, right? So now the question is, uh, which one can we consider x and which one can we consider y out of these lengths and breadths, right? So I want to first minimize this particular uh, element because this would increase linearly and this would increase in multiples of two. So I would definitely want my x to be smaller. So I would take x as the minimum of both of those and y can be taken as the maximum of, of both of those. So this is what we have done here, right? So what I have done is I have taken the minimum of both of them and subtracted one from it. If I have subtracted one, for example, if uh, this is this length is five. So the total number of moves to reach from here to here are always five minus one, four, right? And so, uh, same is the case for the height also. So what I have done is I have taken the minimum of both of them. I have subtracted one and I have multiplied it by two. Now, as for the remaining part, I've taken the maximum of both of them, subtracted one. And at the end, I will also add one to the result because traveling from one portal, one, uh, one position in which the portal is present to another position like this, it also costs one energy or one move, right? So at the end, I increment the answer by one and this would be my final answer. And there's just one exception, like when n or m is equal to one, both of them are equal to one. That means both of the players are already at their final position Then I can directly print zero, right? So this was the solution for problem A. Now let us quickly move to the problem B. So problem B was uh, like purely mathematical based, mathematical and observation based. So this problem states that uh, you have been given an integer n and we have to construct an array of size n. Now what you have to do is if you divide each of these elements by k, round it down, take its flow and take, take the sum of all these numbers, then it should be equal to B and uh, the normal sum should be equal to S. For example, I will show you. 
if we have right a1 a2 a3 and a4 so this is an array n of n is equals to 4 of size equals to 4 now an integer k would also be given so i have to make a1 by k take its floor plus a2 by k take its floor plus a3 by k take its floor and finally a4 by k now this should be equal to b which is also given in the input right and a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 should be equal to some s so and s is also given in the input so you will be given four inputs n k b and s so a very like a greedy approach would be to uh, take three inputs either zero i will mark a1 a2, i will take a1 a2 a3 a4 either as zero or k minus 1 or any uh, other integer x why i am doing like this is because uh, if i take any element less than k right so if i divide for example uh, i have k here at the denominator and I, in the numerator i have k minus 1 so this will always lead to 0 right so that uh, i do this so that i have to only worry about one single element to form the result as b and i can always make the sum s from the from all the elements right so in this way i will all, uh, i will only have to worry about one element to make the uh, final product uh, b for example if this is uh, uh, let this final number be ai right so i need to now make ai let us not worry about the sum right now we'll just uh, see the uh, b value first so i need to make ai divide by k is equals to b so and i need to take its floor right so what do we see uh, let us simplify this uh, i'll write it as ai should be equals to b into k right we know this thing for sure now if ai is equal to b into k if uh, let, uh, let me take some examples from the test case as so let me take this for example where k is equals to 4 and uh, b is equals to 7. So 7 into 4. So ai is equals to 7 into 4 that is 28. Right. So even if it was 29. So I take 29 and I divided by 7. It would still be 4. Right. Even if I take 31 and I divided by 7. So it still be 4 right so i can take any number from 28 to 31 right so i know that ai should be less than b plus 1 into k right because b plus 1 into k would be 7 plus 1 8 8 into 4 32 so i know that ai should be less than b plus 1 into k right and the other elements that i was taking were either 0 or k minus 1 right so there's uh, let the number of k minus 1s should be let, let it be uh, x right so if the if the initial sum if the final sum was should be s I, then i should take x times of k minus 1s and it should be less than b plus 1 into k right because this 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 part here would be equal to a l right because i am taking some zeros i am taking some k minus 1s and the number of k minus 1s are x 0 will not contribute to the final sum only k minus 1 will contribute so ai should be equal to s minus x into k minus 1 and this particular number should be le less than b plus 1 into k right so if i try to find x then it should be uh, s should be less than b plus 1 into k plus x into k minus 1 right so s minus 
b plus 1 into k divided by k minus 1 should be equal to should be uh, less than x so at x should be at least this number right and uh, i need to take x amount of uh, k minus 1 so if x is greater than n minus 1 because i have to take it like this like uh, there is k minus 1 there is k minus 1 there is k minus 1 and the last part should be ai right so i can for n is equals to 4 i can take at maximum 3 k minus 1s that is equal to n minus 1 k minus 1s but if x is itself greater than n minus 1 then in that case our answer would be minus 1 because i cannot form a solution right otherwise we will try to evaluate the answer in this case x is the number of moves right so what i can do is let number of moves is equals to x which i have calculated from here right so to print the final answer uh, i'll uh, print k minus 1 k minus 1 k minus 1 and these would be equal to moves number of k minus 1 equals to moves right or x whatever you say right then i'll print ai which i have calculated which i have already cal cal calculated right that uh, ai is equal to s minus x into k minus 1 right and then finally i can uh, if there are any remaining elements i can print 0 0 0 0 right so this would make my sum equals to s and this would also make uh, uh, b because all these values will give 0 all these values will give 0 and ai divided by k is equals to b that that was the first condition uh, i stated before starting the proof right so this is the complete uh, statement for uh, the second question now we have to keep in mind these equations and form a mathematical solution from it there is one more thing that i would like to mention there is one exception when k is equal to 1 because when k is equal to 1 then this denominator would be equal to 0 so we will have to treat it differently right if k is equal to 1 ai divided by 1 will always be equal to uh, uh, ai right so if if uh, let me just show you directly in the code you will understand it in a better way so if k is equal to 1 i have added it as an exception so if sum is not equal to b because uh, ai divided by 1 should be equal to b right and uh, ai should also be equal to the sum because if i am taking the other elements as 0 and the final elements as ai then it should be equal to the sum and ai by 1 should be equal to b so if b and s are not equal then the answer would be minus 1 otherwise i can take n minus 1 amount of zeros and finally print s as the last element right now i will take i will make a variable required which is the maximum requirement which is b plus 1 into k now i can count the number of moves as s minus required divided by k minus 1 uh, as i have stated here right and if if s minus required is a multiple of k minus 1 then i'll increment my move so i'll show you an example where this is true so if uh, i take this example the port test case 4 7 and 38 so the maximum value that i could take was 8 into 4 that is 32 8 into 4 is 32 right so i have to subtract k minus 1 from it the final sum was 38 so i have to subtract k minus 1 from 38 such that it is less than 32 so k minus 1 here in this case is 3 right so if i subtract 3 from 38 that it would become 35 again subtracting 3 it would become 32 so as you can see the difference between them is a multiple of k minus 1 which is k minus 1 multiplied by 2 so in this case i i cannot take it the number of moves as 2 because i need to make the sum less than 32 so i'll increment 1 in moves so that it becomes less than 32 and it will become uh, not 28 it will become 29 right so in this case i'll increment the moves by 1 
सो इफ मूव इज ग्रेटर देन एन माइनस वन और इफ द सम इज लेस देन रिक्वेस्टेड माइनस के एंड इफ द सम इज लेस देन द रिक्वायर्ड वैल्यू विच मीन्स लाइक इन दिस केस द सम द इनिशियल सम वॉज थर्टी एट राइट बट इफ द इनिशियल सम वॉज ऑलरेडी लेस देन थर्टी टू we needed the maximum to be 32 if the initial sum was already 31 then i would have simply taken 0 0 and 31 so this is what i have done in this particular scenario i just uh, print 0 and minus 1 times and then just print s right and in the final case what i do is i just print the number of uh, k minus 1 moves time moves times the number of uh, moves right and finally i print s minus moves into k minus 1 which is the remaining uh, sum i need to make and then finally i print the remaining zeros if there are any positions left so this was the uh, explanation of problem b of today's contest i hope you guys were able to understand so till the next video drops keep coding stay safe bye bye